I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan and today's video is all about hand sanitizer. So we are in the thick of it when it comes to coronavirus and there are a couple of mistakes that people are making when it comes to DIY hand sanitizer. So I thought the best thing to do was to actually make it for you. So I'm going to be taking you to my lab today with my daughter. It's actually something that you can do with your kids. It's very easy to make. Um, and at the end, I will be showing you obviously my recipe and the single biggest mistake that people are making when it comes to DIY hand sanitizer. So I hope you find this useful and please give me a thumbs up if that, if that sounds good to you. Thank you. So how do we reduce the transmission of coronavirus? So it's happening obviously person to person, but also from surfaces to our hands and then we touch our faces. And this is why washing our hands all the time is actually essential. So how does hand washing help? How on earth does hand washing kill this virus? So coronavirus has a fatty membrane, that's the outside of the virus, and soap has fat loving tails that bind to the outside of the virus and almost pull it open so that the contents of the virus spill out. And then those fragments are encapsulated by soap and washed away. And that's how soap works and why it's so effective against this virus. So that's how hand washing works, but how do, how do hand sanitizers work? The way a hand sanitizer works is actually by destabilizing that fatty membrane of the virus. And so the contents, the protein inside becomes unstable as well. And so can't lead to infection. The problem is you can't actually wash away those fragments like you would when you're washing your hands, which is why we say washing your hands is so much better than hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is fine when you're outside and you're on the go, but inside, of course, it's soap and water all the way. So I thought today I would take my six-year-old daughter with me to the lab because actually making hand sanitizer is very easy. Um, okay, <laughs> the whole family can get involved. So it is super sunny today and I am driving quite a, a long way and so that's why it's really important for me to be wearing my Dr. V sunglasses to prevent any melasma. Okay, so we finally made it into the lab. Now the best way to make it is by using isopropyl alcohol in its 90s. So I actually have 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol which I'll be using. I would then use, um, you need water as well. We use deionized water um, just because we're in the lab, but actually tap water is fine too. And you would need glycerin as well, which most people have in their kitchen. So it should be quite easy to use. So what we're going to do is make up 70% alcohol. So how do we do this? We use 70 grams of isopropyl alcohol. I've got 99.9%. .9%. I would then add 25 grams of water and five grams of glycerin. The reason we want to use glycerin is because it's quite hydrating to the skin. And when you put alcohol in the, on the skin, especially at such a high concentration, it's automatically gonna dry the skin. So this should hopefully help. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to add our isopropyl alcohol, 99.9%. So here you go. Um, and I'm just gonna use a beaker, but you can use whatever you have. Any weighing scales at home is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna open this. Yana, if you could please help me. Okay, so if you could please pour 70 grams into here, we'll do it together. Perfect, okay. There we go, thank you very much, very helpful. <laughs> right, so the next thing we're going to do is add our 25 grams of diionized water. If you could please gently add that so don't make any mess. So we're now about to add our five grams of glycerine. Now we're just going to mix it all together. There we go. So you want to do this bit quite quickly because you don't really want the alcohol to evaporate as a very low boiling point. So you can see here it's all nicely mixed together and now it's ready to decant into our sprays. 
So I'm just going to decant this now into the spray. I'm doing it one-handed, so hopefully it won't make too much mess. If you have a funnel, this would be a good idea at this point. So we've now made our hand sanitizer spray and I'm just going to trial. Please rub your hands together. And the backs. Good girl, yeah. There we go. Excellent. And that is your hand sanitizer. So I made these little stickers for our hand sanitizers. So Sienna's going to pop one on for us. So our aim is to make as many of these hand sanitizers as possible for free for all the elderly and people that we know in our friends and family who have managed to get hold of any. I wish I could give them out to the wider community, but because of the regulations in the UK, everything has to be stability tested first. Um, it's a little bit frustrating actually because I have so much isopropyl alcohol from before um, and actually I could probably make about a thousand pieces so that's a little bit annoying but I will definitely be handing them out to all the elderly of all the friends and family that I know uh, because really they are the ones most at risk. I hope you found that helpful. Um, please do comment below if there's anything else you want me to make you in the lab, if you want a tour of the lab or whatever else you want to see. Um, and please just keep safe and look after yourself. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>